This is a Philco uh, Ford Roundy. This has got a really nice picture on it. Got this strong CRT. You see, I'm playing one of my favorites. Got the macro vision lines just outside of the picture. That's good. Got a really good color. Captain, are you seeing this? You see. It's a Philco branded CRT, but well, I don't know exactly which one it is. I know who makes it. When I got this, I mean, it's a real basic black box. In fact, there's an ad you can find on the internet somewhere. This one of your $299 specials, $299 for what they call a full size TV. It's got a black metal cabinet, plastic bezel. This door right here was missing. I got it so I had to just grab something up out of some scrap plastic. It's got great convergence. I mean, it's almost dead on. Got a really good color. I mean, this, this color is stunning on this thing. The reds, the greens, the blues, everything about it. It's got a um, IF tuner. Look at those reds. It's got an IF tuner and a, I mean, a, sorry, a solid state tuner, solid state IF, and the rest of it's chroma. The audio, the video, the chroma is all is all two. I'm sorry, it's all two. My commander requests the presence of your captain and um, to negotiate a ceasefire. Come aboard our ship via shuttle. Just a really nice set. I can't remember what kind of problems I had with it initially. I don't think they're anything major. Usually aren't on these kind of things. It's usually just little sniggling things that you have to deal with. God, they've got some fantastic red. I don't know if it's coming through on the this thing or not, but good. This probably isn't the best content to evaluate the set on. I'll probably just hop in my uh, Wizard of Oz a little bit so you can check that out. That's always a good one. Get off the ship. I can't. It's real basic. Like I said, it's in a, a cabinet and mint condition with no rust on it whatsoever. And overall, just a really good set. I can't remember what the problems were, if there were any. I don't really think there were when I got it. I think it was operating when I got it. Anyhow. There it is. Philco Ford Roundy, last gas Roundy. I think they call it that because they were selling these things as late as 1970 as an alternative to the rectangular screens. They were real well priced. I guess they were trying to say, look, this is a big screen compared to these 19 inch tabletops that were selling for the same price. Of course, those 19 inch, 19 inch tabletops were much smaller physically. But I don't think you can. I don't think you can. I don't think they ever could compete with the uh, actual CRT itself. I think that's what people don't really understand is they kind of people were kind of willing to give up really faithful color reproduction, which they had pretty much really gotten. That bread is so good. Uh, really gotten figured out by the time these uh, roundies were nearing their end of their life. The brand new rectangular tubes just really weren't as good. You know, they had pin cushion issues, geometry, convergence that hadn't been completely ironed out in the uh, late 60s. So, I guess if you're an audiophile, if you're a videophile, you'd be going for a roundy. Just like the audiophiles, like tube sets over solid state stuff, the older technology, in their opinion, is better. I feel the same way. Anyway, that's that's the uh, Philco Ford. Hope you enjoyed it.